tutun ti ru eja tutun ti wo honorable baba jide sonwolu is incoming governor of lagos state with the affirmation statement cardinal james omolaja odun baku a clergy and immediate past vice chairman of all progressive congress apc in lagos state Thanked Governor Akimu Miyambode's political career in Lagos State during a meeting with members of his mandate group. Mandate group, which is to be known as Bola Ahmed Tinubu Campaign Organization (BATCO), was founded in year 1999 during the campaign of Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the then candidate of Alliance for Democracy (AD) in Lagos State. Cardinal Odumbaku and his best friend, Alhaji Rao Faregwishola, the outgoing governor of Washington State, were the founding fathers of the group, which later metamorphosed into becoming one of the formidable political machines of the Lagos State Governor Aswa Jibola Ahmed Tinubu, 1999 to 2007. Over the years, the mandate group which will be 20 years old in 2019, has grown in political strength, both in name and character, and now known as Mandate Movement. Headed by the ebullient Cardinal James Omolaja Odumbaku, aka Cardinal Itu. Both Baba Itu and Rauf Arigweshola are unabashed acolytes of Chief Bola Ahmed Tinobu, former governor of Lagos State and national leader of All Progressive Congress, APC. Although Cardinal Itu, a couple of years back, was rumored to have fallen out of grace with his best friend, Governor Rauf Arigweshola, and his boss, Aswajibola Tinobu, over some anti-party allegations and was alleged to have been sacked as the boss of Mandate Group at the time. How he managed to return as the head of the group remains a mystery today as he seems to be calling the shots right now. The political power of Cardinal Eto in Lagos politics. In the local politics of Lagos State, nobody can reduce the influence of this clergy politician, Cardinal Dr. James Omolaja Odumbaku JP. Apart from being a spiritual leader and shepherd of a leading Celestial Church of Christ parish, Ito, as fondly called, is equally a man of politics. Among the foot soldiers of the national leader of the APC, Chief Bola Tinobu, Ito is rated as the most influential both on spiritual and political matters. His nickname, Baba Ito, encompasses this fact. As a former vice chairman, Action Congress of Nigeria, Lagos West Senatorial District, and immediate past vice chairman of the All Progressive Congress in Lagos State, Barbarito is certainly a force to reckon with in Lagos and to some extent Southwest politics. To start with, he is said to be the celestial prophet who predicted both Aswajibola Tinobu and former governor Babatu Raj Fashola's ascendance into power as Lagos State Governor in 1999 and 2007 respectively. Before he met Tinubu in 1998, Babaito had his first baptism of political adventure with the late politician and winner of the June 12, 1993 presidential election, Pashonu Moshud Kashimawu Olawale Abiola. Cardinal Odumbaku served as Abiola's special advisor on grassroots mobilization and at a point in time, he was appointed as the campaign chairman for Hope 93 campaign, Lagos State chapter. But at the death of Chief M.K. Wabiola in 1998, Ito became stranded and couldn't go forward and neither could he go left or right politically. He returned fully to his church activities as leader of Celestial Church until he met Bola Ahmed Tinobu. How Ito met Tinobu? Tinubu, according to Grapevine political sources, was the first to approach Cardinal Ito sometime in 1998 on his return from Esha. Tinubu was said to be planning to return to the Senate when he came in contact with the Cardinal. 
Tinobu was said to have paid Cardinal Eto a visit at his Ujodu home for prayers, and Eto, after praying for the politician, gave a prophecy. He was alleged to have shouted after falling into trance, saying, Behold, the next civilian governor of Lagos State, shouting Elia as the anointing ravaged his entire body. Tinubu was said to have been greatly surprised and responded thus, Eh, uh eh? -huh? And he replied by saying, Yeli, sir. The politician was overwhelmed, but the spiritualist insisted that God had prepared him for governor and not senator. Tinubu, either out of gratitude or his own sense of giving, was alleged to have given out 20 20,000 era cash and three bundles to some of the prophet's kids in the presence of some of his political associates who accompanied him to Ito's abode, saying to them, "If for you see when you, he way in the he be conscientious with your studies and don't stop being serious with your education." The politician was said to have charged at Ito's children. Two of his sons. Femi and Shegun from his first and second wives were said to be in the same room when the prophecy took place and they were the immediate beneficiaries of Tinubu's Lajis. And that was how Cardinal James Omolaja Odumbaku climbed to the pinnacle of political relevance in Lagos State. And since then, he and Asuaju Tinubu had never surrendered Lagos to anybody. How it was prophecy brought Fashola and Aregbe Shola to power. In 2006, Babaito had grown from a mere man of God in Lagos State to a man of God with influence and power. He was in the habit of organizing big Christian crusades, which drew the attention of political and religious leaders to one spot. In year 2006, during one of such revivals, tagged attestation of his mightiness at the Agege Stadium in Lagos, it was shocked thousands of congregants who converged for the nightly event as he declared from the altar and said, The next governor of Lagos is Babatunde Raji Fashola. It was around 4 a.m. in the morning and the entire stadium immediately fell into a graveyard silence because they couldn't understand what the cardinal was saying. It was said to have added to his prophetic revelation saying, You are going to be a particular in the inheritance of the saints and he quoted Colossians 1 verse 12. He said further, if you want to be a partaker of the Lajis that is coming, just unanimously shout Hallelujah! And the chorus of Hallelujah was rendered, and as if the host of heaven stamped it. The following year, it repeated the same message at Tafa Balewa Square, Lagos, saying, Fashola is the next governor of Lagos State. On that same podium, he was alleged to have given a prophecy about Rauf Aregbe Shola, who later won his court case against PDP governor Ola Gusoe Oyinlola in Oshun State and became the governor of the state. Rauf Aregbe Shola was said to be on the podium with him that year and he equally shouted Hallelujah to his prayer despite his Muslim faith. How Fashola paid back. Close sources who knew the relationship between Cardinal Eto and ex Governor Babatunde Raji Fashola said on assuming power in 2007, the governor gave out a large expand of land to Babaito for his sole winner's ministry in the Bejuleki area of Lagos, where two other great crusades tagged unquestionable reward and manifestation of his glory took place between year 2009 and 2010. The vast land along the Bejuleki Expressway in Lagos was courtesy of Lagos State Government under the leadership of Governor Babasudiraji Fashola who was obviously appreciating what God has done for him 
through Cardinal Eto's prophecy. In fact, sources close to the two politicians told Asabi Africa TV that during the last crusade Eto had in Tafa Balewa Square in Lagos in year 2008, after Fashola came into power, the governor allegedly gave Eto's ministry free 120 units of Lagos state government buses at no cost to ferry worshippers from all corners of Lagos to the venue of the crusade. Fashola was alleged to have told the cardinal politician, I will pay back myself. When the crusade was organized again at Ibejuleki the following year, Fashola again released 120 units of Lagos state government buses at no cost to the ministry to transport people to and fro the crusade and the governor physically attended the event from the beginning to the end. The place was later named Celestia Altar and it was there again that Cardinal Eto allegedly got another revelation that Dr. Kayo de Faemi would become the governor of Ikiti State and it equally came to pass. Faemi won his court case in October of same year and former governor Shegu Oni was disgraced out of office. Eto is equally said to be the prophet who prophesied that Adams or Shomoli of Edo State would disgrace ex-governor Sumbo out of power and take the reign of government in Edo State. And it also came to pass and that was one of the basic reasons he won the Lagos Man of the Year award in 2011. Why it fell out with Governor Ambody? This is a second chance, second term program. And I can assure you that Say love Say power. You know, I want to pray the indulgence of His Excellency. Cherry Baga Baga Tangu ye, awa umo Baga ye soju. Ah, the Riri. You want more people to trust on me? Eba wa Sony Ojodu Ambode. Say babe, babe, babe. Fourteen, the custodian of power and he gives to whoever he will. And only you cannot be by, your, by yourself. Only God has done it. All of you see better. Am I talking? I do not know. One day, for now, that I job. I'm going to One day, for now, that I job. Nobody can say exactly if it was political boss as Wajibola Ahmed Tinubu consulted with him before anointing or appointing former Lagos Akantan General Akimu Miambodi to succeed Baba Tuliraji Fashola 
in year 2015. But one thing that is crystal clear is the fact that the redeemed Christian Church of God related Akin Women Body never had a passion for the Celestial Church prophet, Kalina James, Omolaja, Odun Baku. First, unlike Fashola, a Muslim, Ambody shunned Kalina Etu in his entire three years of running Lagos. Two, Eto's business empire was said to have suffered a big setback as somebody took over the sweeping of Lagos or keeping Lagos clean initiative away from arrogant APC leaders and gave it to Visionscape, a foreign waste to wealth innovation company which seeks to pack the debts at no cutthroat cost and turn the debts into energy waste and still pay Lagos State a token from the finished product. By this action, Cardinal James Omolaja Odumbaku, who made so much money from a larger portion of the Lagos Waste Economy as the Managing Director of High Waste Managers, with over 3,000 street sweepers across Lagos State, became jobless, penniless, and hopeless at the same time. Hence, by that, his fat budgeted ministry activities, large convoys of cars while moving around Lagos, shortened and it was reduced to someone with a big name but a very minute ego. He couldn't see the governor and some historians who were allegedly taking little contrast here and there from the Lagos state government were shot out of the power economy of Lagos. Hence a need to crush away the imagined pharaoh Akim Miambodi who dared his political relevance in Lagos. As a leader of Mandate Group, now Mandate Movement, Cardinal Dumbaku, aka Cardinal Eto, the most powerful man of God in Lagos, the most influential celestial shepherd in Lagos political circle, and the most fearful politician with crowd and charisma, decided to stop the hardworking, innovative, and creative Governor Akiomi Ambodi from getting his second term ticket. As usual, like he anointed Tinubu, Fashola, and Aregwe Shola, even Faemi and Oshomoli. It was anointed Babajide Sonwolu, a top legal civil servant, to succeed Governor Body come year 2019. We will, we will be 20 years as Batko Mandate and now Mandate Movement. And our office is situated in GRA, paid for we will soon occupy that space. But for me to do the rule, and that to do Honorable Baba Jite Sawolo is the incoming governor of Lagos State. As usual, as the anointed Tinubu, Fashola, and Aregbe Shola, even Faemi and Oshiomori. It was anointed Babajide Sonwolu, a top legal civil servant, to succeed Governor Ambody come 2019. Will this fly? Will it happen? Time will tell. So who is Cardinal James Omolaja Odumbaku? Follow us in the next phase of this broadcast and find out why he was named Lagos Man of the Year 2011. In the year 2011, Cardinal Dr. James Omolaja Odumbaku, JP, the then Vice Chairman, Action Congress of Nigeria, Lagos West Senatorial District, was honored as the Lagos Man of the Year, La Samaya 2011, by the Center for Policy Development and Political Studies, SEPODEPS. He received the award at Oromio Hall, Lagos Airport Hotel, Ikeja on Thursday, the 24th of March 2011, by 6 pm prompt. The organizers of the award, under the leadership of Dr. Adiremi Ifaulipi, told Nigerians and Lagosians at the time that it is noble to acknowledge and pay tribute to excellence in a country like Nigeria where Sinanism prevails in many quarters. The organizers of the award, under the leadership of Dr. Adiremi Ifaulipin Adiremi, told Nigerians and Lagosians at the time 
that it is noble to acknowledge and pay tribute to excellence in a country like Nigeria, where cynicism prevailed in many quarters. He said further that there is need to appreciate those who strive to make positive changes in the society by saying thank you, well done, keep up the good work. According to Ifa Ulipe, the enviable and prestigious Lagos Man of the Year Award was objectively designed as a credible project of paying tributes to excellence and to as well recognize and reward outstanding personal achievements in the private and public sector. He said the award was also created as a platform to identify, recognize and project genuine role models in the state of the center of excellence. How Cardinal Odumbaku emerged as Lagos Man of the Year 2011. According to the organizers of the award, the highly meticulous and quintessential politician Cardinal James Omolaja Odumbaku was voted as Lagos State Man of the Year 2011 by the Lagos residents in particular and generality of Nigerians in a poll conducted through short messages. SMS from Monday the 14th to Sunday 20th of February year 2011. He was said to have scored the highest number of votes which is 2,327 in the well publicized poll that was effectively promoted through media appearances, interviews in the mass media including newspaper advertorials which is a simple majority of the total number of valid votes cast to emerge as the winner of the third edition of La Samaya. Citation and Early Life of Cardinal Itu A self-motivated, multitasking and hard-working politician and shepherd, Cardinal Dr. James Omolaja Odumbaku was born on the 4th of September 1946 into the family of late Pa Daniel Shomori and Chief Mrs. Ajike Jemima Olorun Oshibi Odumbaku Itu, as fondly called, is a prophet, a politician, a grassroots mobilizer, a musician, a philanthropist and an astute businessman known by different nicknames at various times. Odishanka, which means a tough person, is one of his nicknames from Odishanka to Igun to Jodu to Meme, which was the name given to him when he was an artist, and then Itu, a name given to him as a politician, which literally translated as the Lord's doing, Oloruni Itu, divine arrangement. The name was given to him by the late chief MKO Abiola. Itu is an enigmatic octopus. He is a man that can be likened to a diamond whose every side and angles add value with literary sensations and appeal. He had his education at African Church Primary School and African Church Modern School both in Abiyokuta between 1955 and 1964. Determined to hit the mark of success and fame early in life, the youthful and promising Omolaja did not wait for too long under his parents after his secondary education, he moved to Lagos. Shortly after moving to Lagos in search of greener pastors, Omolaja got his first job in 1966 as Millet Nigeria Limited. Three years later, he moved to Dunlop Nigeria Limited where he rose within a very short time to become a production supervisor due to his hard work and dedication to work. Still not satisfied with his attainment at that point, he moved to Nigeria Maritime Services, which was then a subsidiary of Harry Stevens' group of companies. He worked as a personal assistant to the chairman of the group, the late chief Henry Fajem Roku. After the death of Chief Fajem Roku, Omola Jodumba, who went into private business, during which he registered his first company. Baku Joe Farm and Company Limited, 
we dealt in supplies, clearing and forwarding activities. This enterprise subsequently expanded and led to the establishment of the Omolaja or Dumbaku business and political empire. Today, he is the managing director of highway managers, employing over 3,000 street sweepers and a drive to keep Lagos State clean. Cutting his political tooth as far back as the days of the action group, Omolaja was a card carrying member of the Unity Party of Nigeria. He served as a special advisor to the late Chief Moshud Kashimawo Olawale Abiola, the presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Party SDP, on grassroots mobilization and equally doubled as the Lagos State Chairman of the Hope 93 campaign, an umbrella body saddled with the actualization of the presidential ambition of the late Chief MQ Abiola of blessed memory. His involvement with Alliance for Democracy, AD, under the initiator and visionary of the Broom Revolution, Governor Emeritus, Asuaju Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu brought him fame and shot him to limelight. From the chairman of the then Asuaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu campaign organization, Batko, to being the director of mobilization and deputy director general of the independent campaign organization, ICG, in 2003. His leadership and streetwise streak couldn't be divorced from his involvement in community development and grassroots mobilization. Having been a community leader and chairman of Akiode Community Development Association for nine years, where he built his first house, a block of seven flats at the age of 29, and also as a CDA chairman in the entire Ikeja community for seven years and a member of the Lagos State Community Development Council and Grand Patron of the Community Development Council, CDC. Omola Jadumbaku became involved with grassroots politics through the tailors, artisans, traders and many other low groups in the society. No doubt, an astute politician, he has proved beyond reasonable doubt that only God Direct the affairs of men. No wonder, from his humble beginning experiencing life's twists and turns, today the people of Lagos State proudly picked him as the Lagos State Man of the Year 2011. Etu, the Prophet. Cardinal Etu was born into a Christian family of Kerubu and Serafo, CNS flock. He grew up in the African church where he embraced our Lord Jesus Christ very early in life and his passion for spirituality led him to the Celestial Church of Christ. Here he rose through the ranks to become a shepherd of no mean status, establishing parishes of the Celestial Church, City of God, Parish in Canada, London and Nigeria. He equally established Soul Winners Ministry International in Nigeria and the United States of America. And a few years ago, he established the 120 acre City of God Celestial Altar at the Lekki Epe Expressway in Ibeju, area of Lagos State. In fulfillment of his vision and in obedience to the divine commission by our Lord Jesus Christ, which stated, Go ye therefore, and make disciples of all nations. Matthew 28, verse 19. The department evolved into a functional ministry that will not be limited by denominations or religious tenets. This development produced the first soul winner crusade tagged Festival of the World at Agege Stadium in the year 2005. It was followed by association to his mightiness at the same venue in year 26. It was followed by association to his mightiness at the same venue in year 2006. In year 2007, the feedback and report from the coordinators in other states necessitated the change of venue to a larger space. Hence, the ministry moved to Tafabaliwa Square (TBS). The decision was timely as the turnout that year was phenomenal. By 2008, the ministry has emerged as a force in crusading 
and a channel for supernatural exploit within and outside the celestial church fold. With existing partnership with Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, and other organizations like PCLF and other Christian bodies, the ministry can be described as a symbol of peace and a vessel of change. Undoubtedly, with the proposed retreat and worship center in Ibejuleki, the ministry will be poised for higher accomplishments for God's kingdom. Thus, in continuation of this trend, another successful crusade tagged unquestionable reward was held in year 2009 and subsequently followed with manifestation of his glory in year 2010. Itu, the family man. This enigmatic octopus, Cardinal Itu, is a family man par excellence, blessed with godly wives, inspirational children, and grandchildren. This is a testimony of the touch of God upon his life. Cardinal Itu is married to three lovely wives. He is a believer in family values and quality education. He is set of children led by Mrs. Funke Femiadi Poju who used to work in the Lagos Civil Service are David Olusha Odumbaku, a businessman, Toyin Odumbaku, Daniel Olufemi Odumbaku, Oroluwa Odumbaku, Sheyi Odumbaku, Olushola Odumbaku, who are all graduates with postgraduate degree from various universities in the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland. They are also Ope Oluwa Odumbaku, Bimbola Odumbaku, Olua Kemi Odumbaku and Fife Homi Odumbaku who are equally itching toward graduation from various universities across the world. To his family, Cardinal Isu is an inexhaustible and unfamished Karika Papaya. Itu, the politician. Cutting his political tooth as far back as the days of the Action Congress, Cardinal Ito's ability to mobilize men has earned him accolades among friends and fools alike. A man known to play politics with dignity, maturity, and the fear of God was also a card carrying member of the Unity Party of Nigeria in 1982. And during the presidential campaign of the Defense Social Democratic Party SDP, he was special advisor to late Chief Moshud Kashmawo Olawale Abiola on grassroots mobilization and equally doubled his activity as Lagos State Chairman of Hope 93 campaign team. At the dawn of the 1999 Democratic Dispensation, he was actively involved in the political activities of the era. His involvement with the Alliance for Democracy AD, under the leadership of the initiator and visionary of the Prom Revolution, the Governor Emeritus of Lagos and leaders of all time, as well as the Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu brought him fame and shot him to limelight. From being the chairman of the then Bola Amen Tinubu campaign organization, BATCO, which later became Mandate Group, he was appointed director of mobilization and the deputy director general of the independent campaign group, ICG, in year 2003. His political sagacity at the center and the middle of things cannot be divorced from his involvement in community development and grassroots mobilization. Itu has been a community leader and chairman of Akiode Community Development Association in Lagos for the last 20 years. He built his first house, a block of seven flats in Akiode area of Lagos at the age of 29. And that was the reason for his recent famous statement in the popular video while commenting at the opening of the Ujudu new bypass bridge by Governor Kiwomi Ambody, Itu had acknowledged that all his children were delivered in Ojudu area in the last 50 years of his stay in Ojudu area. Cardinal Odumbaku had publicly declared at the venue of the event that he had all his children in Ojudu area of Lagos, which means that he started his life at the Ojudu Bega area of Lagos. At that same event, Cardinal Itu decided to rename the new bridge to the glory and to the effort of His Excellency Governor Akimu Meabode. 
he renamed the Ojodu Bridge Ojodu Ambode. Ojodu Ambode. It is also a record that it was a community development organization CDA leader in the entire Kedja area for almost 15 years. It is equally a member of the Lagos State Community Development Council and grand patron of the CDCs in Lagos. No doubt, as an astute politician, it seems to have proven beyond reasonable doubt that only God directs the affairs of men. No wonder, from his humble beginning and from his experience with the twists and turns of life, he to today remain the only politician capable of installing and removing a governor from power in Lagos State. He is equally a very good friend and a five and six to the outgoing governor of Oshun State, Ogbeni Rauf Adesoji Aregwe In 2011, it was served as the Chairman of Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN, and three years later, he was appointed Vice Chairman of the All Progressive Congress Party in Lagos State. He and the ex Chairman of the Party, he and the ex Chairman of the Party, a seasoned diplomat and administrator, Otumba Henry Adjomali, worked hand in hand to ensure victory for the party at various election seasons in Lagos State until recently when the Cardinal politician and some of his full soldiers decided to work against and kick out the incumbent governor of Lagos State, Mr. Kimumi Ambodi. He is alleged to be the brain behind the anointing of one Mr. Babajide Sonwolu as the APC candidate. Babajide Sonwolu is a public servant under the regime of Mr. Akimumi Ambodi. For Hurricane Ito, all this would have been impossible without the inestimable and incomparable guiding hand of his indefatigable boss, the Emperor of Lagos, the Ulu of Eko, the Aswaju of Lagos, Jagaban Poku, Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Ito's Award. Cardinal James Omolaja Odumbaku has received over 50 awards for business and professional feats. He has over 40 awards for religious, political and community feats. And he has allegedly given scholarship to over 40 persons at various stages of education within and outside the country. He too loves charity and he has given such to privileged homes notably the Modupe Cole Home for Disabled Children and the SOS Children's Village. He is the author of the annual sponsorship of the Lagos State Table Tennis Association of Championship, Tag Odun Baku Cup, and several other poverty and elevation programs for widows. It was hobbies. Cardinal Odun Baku, aka Cardinal Ito, loves playing table tennis at his own house, preaching in his church, Celestial Church of Christ, City of God, Parish, in the area of Lagos, talking to his political subordinates at political gatherings, sharing gifts to hungry politicians and masses alike, and traveling around the world to visit cities where his children are schooling. The Oriki of Cardinal Odumbaku Olojo Omonjebu Ono Meri Dilogun Lanki Olojo Oba Meri Lainu Rejeika Ojo Olojo Je Meji Riji Kumogun Ile Ilara Kumode Ishara Olomo Jobi Arai Kene Arai Samudu Leti oni pakala omo dindin bi erin gbonegun omo akunu omo loni meta otodo won sagiri ni josi omo lodo kan odukan ikan so weke ikan di 
dia ikule osile o da bata odudu bi aro ko jure so o pon kuku ko ju se be o tu gan yan bi ara isara omo wa li ni makun akari bo mese omo o tu gan yan bi ara isara omo wa li ni makun akari bo mese omo ati le wole omo atodi dodi o ti nu ara la o bo si gba gede ojo je bo ba nrowo ni won ti le wole ti won ti nu ara la bo si gba gede gbonegun omo akunu o fi na ijebu o we wududu a pe wa saro o gaga ide o ko sajiri fadaka omo eledi ye o gogo maga o ni bi awo kengbe kengbe o ni bi awo kengbe kengbe omo wa li ni makun iyara ni san omo alage mo afidi wene wene omo alage mo we ni re wene wene eleni adu ara ofi ara ogire afiju ijebu o fo oko re japina oni bo n ba shoho bo n ba jere to n ba tobunde won amoko n joba